Hey, Shelly Hopkins here. We're going to talk about traffic to our website. Whether you have an official website or you're using ClickFunnels websites or Builder All sites, it's a funnel, it's a site, it needs traffic, right? Okay, I'm going to tell you 10 ways how to get traffic to your site right after this. Hey, I'm back. All right, we're going to talk about 10 ways to get traffic to your site. But do me a favor, you know I'm going to ask you to subscribe. So if you are into affiliate marketing, online marketing, um, make money online, motivation, that's what I talk about on this channel. So if you would like to hear more of that, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos, then do me a favor and hit the little bell so you get your notifications. And if you get anything out of this video, do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up. And you can also comment down below if you need to reach out to me or you have any questions or anything like that. But let's get started. Okay, because this is good. This is really good. Okay, one, they're already there so you can see them. So we're gonna go through them. But I have them color-coded for a reason. It's to try to help you remember it. Because how many times do we watch a YouTube video and then we go away and we're like, oh crap, so we've got to go back and watch it and make sure the notes are good. Well, in college I took a course that says if you can color code your notes and stuff like that, when you try to go back and remember, it'll help you. Like, blogs are green, okay? So when we go back to try to remember this video, you can be like, hey, green, there were blogs. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you that little tip because I use it all the time. Okay. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about number one first, which is social media advertising. Okay? There is free advertising and there's paid advertising. Okay? In social media advertising, let's talk about Facebook. Okay? Well, yes, we can pay. We can do Facebook ads, which can kind of be expensive. So there's other ways to do social media advertising, like, again, Facebook. There's groups, there's people to talk to, you can find people that are looking for what you're selling, for what you want to help them with, and then you just simply reach out to them. No matter what you do in all of these, do not just broadcast your sites, okay, or your links, or anything like that, okay? That will hurt you. It will not help you. Just throwing that out there, okay? Um, on the social media advertising, I use Facebook as an example because I mostly use Facebook. There's um, Pinterest. I um, saw some cool stuff where you can actually do it in Pinterest. There's Instagram. A lot of people tell me that I really need to get busy in Instagram, but I just don't. So, anyways, there's some, some tips, but use good keywords. Okay, because no matter what you do, they're going to search, whether it's organic or paid, people are going to, when they search, it's, it's for your keywords. And I, and I said that wrong. I meant, you know, whether you're paying or it's organic. That's what they're going to look for. Okay. There's a thing called, thing called Keywords Anywhere. It's now paid, but it's cheap, but it's totally worth it. Just go out there and get it. Okay. Um, number two, social media platforms. Get involved, okay? We've been listing these platforms. So, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. The, there's a query question thing that is really, really cool, and I'm going to use it more. I keep telling myself that anyways. But get involved. Like, get into that community. Get, talk to people. I spent forever researching the people that I needed to learn from in the beginning. So now I got involved. I got in their groups. I reached out to them. And now I have some awesome coaches, some great friends, and people will actually listen to you in the community. Okay? That's very, very important. Okay? Number three, blogs. Green. It's green. Remember? Okay. 
Okay, I have recently started doing blogs. I hadn't done them before. <laughs> and I think I've been doing this for about a year. But I was just going to do YouTube and Facebook. But I'm doing this traffic challenge and they're all talking about blogs. But I thought it was so hard. It's not. It is not hard at all. You just have to get started. And just like Russell Brunson says, whether you do video or you do blogs, whatever you do, you're probably going to suck at the beginning. But you have to suck in order to get better. Because you will eventually get better. Okay? I go back and watch my very first video and I want to cry. So, you can do a blog. If you need help, I know how to do it now. Hi, reach out. I can help you. And you can put it on Medium for free. Okay? You don't even have to have your own site. I have my own site, and I put mine on my site. But they actually say, even though you have your own site, it's better to put it out on Medium. But, so I plan on putting all of mine out on Medium, but I'll just do it later because I have my own site. But you do not have to. You, Medium, if you're starting out, like Medium has more viewers than your site's going to, especially if it's new. So, blogs, number three. Number four is video. This day and age, even... I will watch a video before anything else. I don't like to read. I did enough of that in college. I want to watch something, okay, or listen to it. So I'm on YouTube all the time, okay. I'll, my friends will put out all of their videos, and so I'll watch theirs. I'm like, hey, yeah, and so we kind of learn from each other. So you can make videos. Put them on YouTube. Create your own channel, especially if you don't mind doing it, okay? And a lot of people say it's really hard getting in front of a camera. The easiest tip I can give you for that is to get over it. Seriously? <laughs> it's nervous. You're nervous at the first, but then you just, you just don't care. You just, you just want to help people and share your information, so just do it, okay? Um, number five, on-page SEO. Out of everything... I would say I suck the worst at this, so I actually pay someone to help me, but on-page SEO is awesome, okay? It's what you really need to help with your keywords and to get out there and to let everybody make sure that it gets seen, okay? Okay, number six, long-tailed keywords. I put my favorite because I know the short keywords, let's say ClickFunnels, is going to be taken. Spencer Meckham is one of my coaches that I follow because I bought his course um, a while back. And he says the same thing. So that made me think you have to do long tail keywords and that might really work. But then I bought a course from Jacob Karras that said the same thing and then it actually kicked in. And then I started, okay, this is what I need to do too. This is what I need to do too, okay? So that's what I focus on the most, okay? And there's a way, you know, just search it. But you don't want to put something that everybody else is, like ClickFunnels. You don't put ClickFunnels, okay? You want to put, like, let's throw out an example. What um, ClickFunnels is used for, I don't know. But try to do the long tail keyword, okay? You, you can type it in Google. You can pay for keywords anywhere. It's super, super cheap, and it will help you. It's what I do, okay? Seven, interview people. I am really starting to like this one because if you interview people, it's not, you're not that nervous, and you just jump in there and you do it. And, and they're the one coming up with the information. Them, not you. So you can interview them. It gives you... A video it gives you if even if you're, you're doing it just on like a podcast but you still videotape them and you have that podcast that video whatever it is and then you use it and then they use it too okay so there is interviewing people okay um, don't be nervous go do it autoresponder emails okay Spencer Makeham talks about this too that the money is in the emails, okay? You have to create an awesome autoresponder emails, okay? 
I use a rubber and I love it. So just as an FYI. But if you have a funnel and you have them sent to your email, you're done. Then have all your emails set up so you're out, they're, they're, they're automatically going to them, okay? And in your emails, you're going to sell to them, but you're going to provide information. You're going to provide good, good content that's going to help them and let them know what's going on, what your selling is all about, explain it to them, all of that. And you can do that in your emails, and it's very, very important, okay? It's very important. Nine, fast sight, okay? I was on the phone with a friend the other day, and he actually didn't know what a funnel was. So I was like, here, go to go.shellyhopkins.com. It's my um, ClickFunnels. Um, ah, my, it's my, where, where do you learn? Tutorial, yeah. So, um, and it teaches them how you did go through and set up the, biz, the whole business and everything and teaches them all about ClickFunnels. Anyways, but he was like, oh, it's not fast. It's very slow. I was like, oh, oh no, oh no. So I went back, checked everything out, made sure everything's okay. Um, but I freaked out because I, you don't want it to be slow. You don't want it to be slow. So make sure you do your own testing and stuff too, okay? 10, podcast. This is something that I don't do, but I want to do in the future. Because you don't want to do everything all at once, okay? It'll be overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed with just what I'm doing. So, but some people don't want to do video. They don't want to get in front of a camera and talk to you. So, they can talk to you through podcast. Okay? So, you could do video, you could do blogs, you could do podcast, you could do anything. Okay? But just do it. Okay? Just do it. That's the most important thing. Take action. I should have put number 11, take action. Because sometimes that's the hardest part, but we just have to do it. All right, that's all I have. So if you got anything out of this video, do me, of course, a huge favor and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, even if you think it's a stupid question, I don't mind. Just reach out to me, and um, I'll help you. Um, I can, I'll give you my email, too, and you can reach out to me that way as well. It's my little dog in the background. But... If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and you won't miss any of my videos. So, all right. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.